Cancer, welcome to your mid-February 2021 General Tarot Update. It's Rena here. So, what is happening? Well, the next new moon that we're having is on February 11th. It's at 23 degrees of Aquarius. For you, this is the 8th house. Um, I've already done a February forecast for you, but just basically I was talking about how you have so much going on in that area. I mean, my goodness gracious. This could be like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, this feeling of rebirth. And uh, Mercury is still retrograding in this house. So you may be studying esoteric information in order to... Um, I don't know, feed a deep part of your soul. Maybe you're going through psychotherapy. That's the eighth house as well. And um, kind of reliving certain things that, you know, have occurred in your life, um, you know, long ago that maybe you, you didn't uh, deal with. The eighth house is a shadow, for instance. And sometimes this can come... For those of you who may have gotten divorced in the last year when Saturn went back into your um, marriage house, the seventh house in Capricorn, you know, your opposite sign, that might have been a time when you were hoping you could work something out and it didn't. And so then you had to like look, look at yourself instead of just focusing so much on that relationship. But this, this can give you a new lease on life in terms of your... Um, your emotional nature, but your psychological nature. You can, might feel a sense of purification in a certain way because of it. Okay, two cards coming out. They were kind of stuck together, actually. And I got those for another reading, so I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah, you know, how could I forget? The eighth house is the house of other people's money and we have some cards here so um with the new moon that could be something that that like if you got divorced and when you split money then you have this whole new um situation at hand or an inheritance something along those lines so let's just see what it, what's going on here the heart of the matter is the Empress card, and this is a card connected to Taurus as well as Libra through the planet Venus, which rules both of those signs. So she is the goddess of love and beauty. So that's what this um, particular card in the Major Arcana represents. Issues surrounding love, um, pleasure, sensuality, children. So th this can be the card of pregnancy. Um, but also financial abundance and things of that nature. So it can be good for that. And um, these issues may be coming up for you in some way. So money could certainly be um, what is the, you know, the crux of the situation. And you may be like, what should I do about this? Because we have here in the past position the nine of wands can indicate somebody that is putting up boundaries. Um, I also see this card when a narcissistic person comes back into your life. Now, of course, it's Mercury retrograde, so expect people from the past to show up again. But when they come back and you, maybe if you have gone into therapy and you've realized that you allowed this person to walk all over you, that you're not going to interact with them in the same way. Now, if this person is a co-parent, then, you know, part of that whole thing is I'm the mother because that's what the empress would be. And I'm not going to allow this person to use this, um, this role or this position as co-parent to kind of get their hooks into me. I'm going to, I'm going to have those boundaries. And 
so, you know, the, the, the key is that your emotions are sorted out because some people, if they have, like, for instance, if you were left by a narcissist, if that was what your divorce was in there or whatever the relationship and they left, you might actually feel like they missed me. They couldn't live without me. And you're not aware of how the game is played and, and you just like completely let down those boundaries that you've already set up and, you know, just make, um, make way for it to happen all over again. So you have to be, um, you know, able to withstand the love bombing or whatever that person may do. Now, if there is some situation where you have found yourself pregnant and it's with somebody like this, you may say, you know, who's, who, you know, is not really good for you in your life. Um, there may be this part of you that is, you know, wondering if you should do so for the sake of your child, your, 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 you know, the child that is coming in. Um, and you have to be very careful about that because, um, that could lead to, a lot of um, problems down the road uh, unless that person has fundamentally changed also the empress can relate to creativity so with the nine of wands there you may be in a career where you don't feel like this is being utilized and you're, you you might feel like your um, artistic talents are are being neglected because of the type of work that you're doing and the higher message is three of pentacles which is that you can make a living through create creative pursuits the th you know it's funny uh three of pentacles number three is a card of abundance and pent and and creativity and pentacles is money so this is almost like i don't know you know what this card specifically uh, ties in astrologically, but, um, it's almost to me like the minor arcana version of the Empress in a certain way, in a certain sense. Also the three of pentacles is a card is the architect's card. So for instance, in starting a family or something like that, it's reminding you that you need stability. Uh, you need to st start the relationship from a good position, not in this situation of coming and going and um maybe feeling like you have to be on guard because you don't know what this person's going to do so two challenge cards came out at the same time one of them is the two of pentacles you may be um very busy with your life right now um doing multiple things and you feel this sense of like you can't um, you don't have time for what the Empress represents. Now, the Empress, uh, one thing that I didn't say is the Empress could be a woman or even a, a Cancerian male who wants to have children. Um, and maybe with the Nine of Wands, you have kept your, you've kept a wall up to, because you don't want to get hurt again. And so what the, Two of Pentacles in that th situation or that scenario would say is that in order for you to have the things that you want, if you want to start a family, if you want to have love in your life, you have to be, um, you have to have the time carved out for that. And if you are just like really doing this and that, and you're just very harried, you might not have enough time to raise a child either. So look at your schedule, look at what you're putting attention on, um, the kind of things that consume your time. Then we also have the four of cups. This is a card that can be emotional, um, disinterest or a sense of, you know, dissatisfaction with your life. And again, you know, sometimes people do things because they think it's going to make everything better instead of like, um, really addressing 
their dissatisfaction, the root cause, trying to change things on the outside. So definitely if you're blaming your dissatisfaction in life and saying, well, it's because I've always wanted children and I've never had them. So, so I'm going to do that in the hopes that's going to make me happy. Um, that would be a foolish decision. Um, yeah, I do believe that there are people who know that they're meant to have children and they are meant to be with a certain person that they're not currently with and that they know that that is going to be, you know, part of their life's destiny. I do believe in that, but I think in general that when you have an outer, um, you're looking to the, uh, external to kind of like make you feel that you're not unhappy, you know, to cure your unhappiness, that that is very risky and that it doesn't work that way. And it's not fair to a child. It's not fair to a potential partner to kind of use them to boost your spirits or anything like that. And I don't think, like I said, I don't think it can, it can happen unless there's a genuine feeling there. But what I would say too is don't ignore your unhappiness. Don't ignore your, um, maybe it's a tendency you have to always, you know, to be, you know, like what do they call it? Busy work or just being overly involved with things because that could be like a distraction, especially if you have like Mars in uh, Aries or Mars in Gemini um, cancer, where you tend to be very active and have your irons in different fires, so to speak you might find that um, it kind of distracts you from some of the more uncomfortable feelings you're having. It's, it's a form of escape. Now, you know, in terms of escape, it's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, still, it doesn't you know, address the inner angst. What's coming in is represented by the Nine of Pentacles. And this is um, a financial card that's associated with self-reliance. So I do see because of the outcome card here, the fact that the outcome is the king of swords, and this can um, be the, like a, a judge that is rendering a decision, that there may be some kind of uh, legal matter that you're dealing with. I feel that, um, I'm trying to think if this is, Well, if there, if you are like, um, in court for child support, for instance, or, uh, custody issues, but I think it has to do with money. So it'd probably be more like child support. Um, I think that you're going to prevail because with the nine of, I don't, well, it's hard to say because if you're the one who is much more, uh, solvent, fiscally solvent, then maybe it's not going to be the way that you think it is. I don't know. But I feel like this is more of a, a situation with your, your uh, inner work that, that has to be done, that it's not so much what happens in the outer world, that you're going to be just fine. That's how I see the nine of pentacles. And whatever is, is this uh, judgment, you're going to be just fine. You're going to land on your, you're going to land on your, on two feet. Um, and it's really like looking at some of the more uncomfortable emotions that have been triggered recently. And, you know, how has that impacted your ability to parent, ability to, just uh, function on a daily basis with people around you. Maybe you have felt a bit um, guarded and you don't like that because you, you like to really emotionally connect with people that you trust, but even them, you've put up these walls and things like that. Well, you know, um, you know, King of Swords, 
if, if it isn't a legal decision, I mean, that, that can also be uh, really detaching from a situation to the nth degree. And perhaps for some cancer people, that's exactly what you have to do because your emotions would keep you in that situation way too long. Okay, Cancer, that's what I have for you. I hope that that resonated. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Uh, thanks for listening. Take care or watching. Bye.